Hello, all you beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Mini Spooks. It's the 2nd of October, and that means the spookiest month of the year is well underway. And I'm going to keep coming with some horror content throughout the entire month. I always put out horror content anyway, that's what I do. But during this month, I'm just going to go a little bit harder on the horror than normal, because I'm going to spook it up as much as I can. I love Halloween, I love all the spooky things. I'm going to dress up for Halloween this year, I think. I haven't done it for a few years, but I'm going to like a Halloween night out, so I need to come up with a costume. If you've got any ideas, drop them down in a comment or something, because I haven't got a clue. As you can all see, the jumpers are starting to come out. I do live in the UK and it is getting chilly out there. It's starting to feel a bit like winter already. And there's a nice cold breeze. And my heating's just come on actually. So I've got to start paying for that as well. So that's, that's fantastic. So as I said, this is another episode of Mini Spooks where I kind of pick a smaller indie horror game, do a complete playthrough, edit it down and put it up in one clean video. Now today's game is called Promnesia um, and it's highly rated currently on Itch.io. It's sitting there right at the top. Now this game is made by a chap called David Clark. Um, I believe it's David Clark. Let me just check my source. I don't want to get it wrong because that would be embarrassing for me. It is David Clark. Now, this game is currently on Kickstarter. It's quite early in the backer stage um, and they're looking for quite a big, uh, quite a sizable investment to get this game made. I've not played it yet. Um, from what I can see, it's another kind of one man project. I could be wrong, David. Uh, he might be working with a few other people. I'm not sure. Um, but if it is made by one person, from what I can see from the trailer that I watched and the screenshots, it looks stunning. Um, another really impressive feat for just one person to pull together. Now the Kickstarter, as I say, is still active. I'll put up a link along the bottom of this video just so you can go and check it out yourselves. And if you feel like you want to back it, let's back that creativity and try and get someone's game and get someone's dream um, turned into a reality because that's incredible. As much as we all try and make content and try and get our content out there, these people that are making the games, they give us content to play um, and this is their dream so let's let's kind of support that as much as we can uh, i haven't played the game yet i'm going to jump into it now according to itch.io it does say it's a very short experience and it leans heavily into making the player feel tense and feel kind of scared more so than leaning into the jump scare element so a bit more about feeling overwhelmed and atmospheric i guess the atmos atmosphere is probably what they're going for according to the itch.io description i could be completely wrong now, you know the drill by now. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. I'll love you forever if you do. Uh, leave me a comment, leave me a like. I love engaging and follow me on Twitter. Give me some ideas because, you know, I can always take ideas off people. Um, and I'm always willing to try things out on my channel. So, um, so yeah, any engagement is much appreciated. I'm just playing around my watch. It was falling off my wrist. I have no idea why it was coming off. Let's jump in and play some Promnesia. I'm really excited to give it a go. Let's see what it's all about. Now this is a game I have to play with keyboard and mouse, I believe. I can't play it with a controller. That's fine. I know how to play PC games. I've only had a PC since like February, so I'm actually a bit of a PC gaming noob. Probably why I'm so bad at Hunt, if you've seen my Hunt video. Although in that video we won. We tend to lose. We don't tend to lose. I tend to die. My teammates, the guys I play with, are actually really, really good. They win a lot. Two years ago, police received reports of a home invasion at 10.15pm. They arrive on the scene to a mother and daughter murdered, but no forced entry was suspected. After six months of investigating, the case went cold. The father now lives alone. Even though two years have passed, he still hasn't moved on. It's your fault they're gone. If only you didn't value your job more than your family. If you didn't work more than spending time with your family, perhaps they would still be alive. Fucking hell, that's heavy. All levity is now gone from this video. I... I I can't make any more jokes. It's, it's too serious. Ooh, it's too serious. So this is doors open. They can offer a change for something new. Closed means you're stuck with what you've got. Interesting. So this is kind of what I saw on the Itch.io page. I just saw the kind of screenshots and I watched the trailer. Again, it looks it looks gorgeous. I've played so many of these Itch.io games that just look incredible. I mean, look at that. If this has been made by one person, it's just it's just amazing. This lobby gives me real um, original Resident Evil vibes. Two staircases going up and splintering off. I don't know if that's really what you were going for. But this is very cool. You passed the test, my man. I'm a big fan of being able to see your legs in games. Uh, that gets an instant, instant 10 out of 10, instant game of the year. I will send you your trophy in the post. Please don't expect a trophy on my I can't make trophies. Sneak it through there. Now the, the sound design is very subtle. It's just kind of like a um, like a pulsing, vibrating sound. Really uh, unnerving, really unnerving. 
green. I hate that colour. I spent too much time thinking about money and it cost me my family's life. Oh, this green. I was going to say, that door's not green. It's graphically gorgeous. Always stunned. And I know I, I, you guys must be bored of me saying this kind of same thing, but I'm always stunned when it, these one-man projects or one-woman projects look this good. Turn the TV off. Get rid of the green colour. My man don't like the green colour. Oh! Okay, I can open doors. Some doors. How is that TV on? How is that TV on? It's plugged into quite literally nothing. Unless the cable's running under the door. Which is possible. Very possible. Nice picture, that. Picture. Just checking there's nothing coming running down the corridor. I mean, uh, picture of nothing. Oh, that's creepy. Oh. Doesn't matter how many games I play with long haired girls in white dresses, they'll always get me, man. Bleh. Rim. Oh, it's, it's like a little nursery rhyme playing. Nursery rhymes and those kind of like kids' songs, they just they sound so insidious without. Is it in the lobby? Strange, there's not a radio in there. Oh, fucking hell, she's right there. Oh, don't come closer to me. <laughs> so I tempted fate by going close to her, I guess, but uh, still didn't expect that. Still didn't appreciate it. <laughs> normal. That's pretty normal. As I was saying, the kind of little nursery rhymes and kids kind of little jingles like this, they don't have to try hard to sound terrifying. You haven't even got to pitch shift them or anything, they just sound terrifying. Why would I go through the door that you just opened for me? Oh, that's a very cool effect. I like that a lot. Oh, that's very cool. Very, 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 very cool. I'll turn you off. Oh, what's happening? Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, uh, I fucked something up there. Uh, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but I did something wrong. Don't turn off the music is probably what I should do. Uh, <laughs> Let's try again. Really, really nicely put together, this. Really nicely put together. I would love to, to try, just try my hand at making a game. I think I have all the information in my head that could make something, to make something really scary. Like, I've watched enough horror and I've kind of, I think I have enough creative juice in my body to kind of make something genuinely terrifying. I just, I just don't know where I'd start. That noise is a little bit unnerving. It's kind of like a noise. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of creative energies, but I just, I just don't know where I'd start with a... Oh, there is a rap. Um, with actually putting together a game. Maybe I'll make. Maybe I'll try and make it into a film or something, like a short film. Maybe I'll just find someone that's talented enough to make a game and give them my ideas. There she is. Back off. Back off, bitch. Okay, so I guess the right thing to do is just to, to just go through the door. I don't want to go into Green World. Is this the same? It doesn't look like a house. Now they're saying it's a house. I would have said this is a museum. Just the, the amount of green right now is actually quite unnerving. I know that's odd to be unnerved by a colour. But it is. It's quite intense. Shitting fuck shit. Oh, you piece of cock. That's the second game in one week that's had a, like a sprinting ghoul make me shit myself. Home sweet home first, and now this. Holy moly. What now? There's an odd note in the frame. What do you mean? 
where press E to read the note Dear love, this place isn't safe and you must escape as soon as you can. Pay attention to the time as you don't have long. Pay attention to the time. Oh, you fucker. Flipping out. It's the green. It's, un it's just unnerving. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Is she coming for me? Am I fucked? Time. Help me. David Clark, what do I do? What do I do? Now you say I haven't got much time, but I feel like time is infinite in this weird green place. Hmm. Oh. Wait, that I felt like that did time. 10.15 PM. It's the time my family died, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So now I can go through into the to the whiteness. I escaped. I did it. I guess that's I guess that's everything that's in the game currently. It, I, I, yeah, I escaped. Made money. All right. I think that's everything that's in there. Cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will sum up my thoughts. So let me just really quickly sum up my thoughts on this Promnesia demo. And effectively, it is a demo of what uh, David's working towards with the full release. Now, the Itch.io page did say that it's a very short experience and it isn't underestimating at all um, or under exaggerating. Sorry, it is a very short experience, uh, very tight, very condensed. Just because it's short doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Again, this is this is effectively a free demo. You can contribute towards David on Itch.io, um, but I'd probably say if you're gonna contribute, do it through the Kickstarter. That's gonna be the more valuable place to do it. This Promnesia demo, you can get for free through Itch.io and you can try it yourself. Graphically, it looked beautiful. Uh, again, I'm really impressed this is a one-person project. I think it's a one-person project. Just mind-blowing that you can make something that looks this good. Uh, the shadows are really good. The way that the light reflects off things really, really good. Uh, I'm running it on its highest settings on PC, but no, it looked really, really good. So well done. It looks fantastic. And then in terms of just kind of scariness, it was pretty spooky. I will always be scared by a girl in a white dress with long hair covering her face. That's always going to be scary. It's never not going to be scary. Um, and having her kind of pop up and stuff, not nice. I think my only real kind of um, uh, advice would be at the point at which you see her through the door, it's cool that she snaps forward, but you can tell that it's just a, a kind of a still model. It would be great if you could expand that into, if you get closer to the door, it's an animation of her lurching forward before she disappears. I think that would be a little bit more impactful. I appreciate that based on what you're saying on Itch.io, you're not going for the jump scare factor. And I respect that massively because you've done a really good job of creating a sense of atmosphere and dread and suspense here. It does exactly what it says on the tin, does exactly what it says on Itch.io. It really does create a sense of uh, dread and, and, and uh, suspense. But I think little touches like having her lurch towards the door would make it that much more terrifying. Um, and I appreciate that's probably what you're working towards with the full release on Kickstarter anyway. So uh, so yeah, that's just a little bit of tidbit from me, but genuinely it was spooky. Um, I, it was only probably what, 15 minutes long, but it did enough to freak me out uh, in that period of time. I actually wish it was way longer. I would have sat here and played this for a lot, lot longer. All right, guys, that brings me to the end of another episode of Mini Spooks, a really short one this time. The game was quite short and quite concise and I like that, nice to the point. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw today, hit subscribe, drop me a like, uh, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. Um, and then tell me if there's any other games you've played recently that you wouldn't mind me checking out, uh, especially stuff on Itch.io, especially stuff made by uh, indie developers. I love playing those for the Mini Spooks. I'm currently doing Home Sweet Home over on my main daytime spooks. Uh, and I've got a couple of new surprises coming in the following week so keep an eye peeled for those until next time guys take care of yourselves stay spooky see you later